Oh my gosh, it's gonna come out. I've dug enough under it. Today we're gonna be trying to find some more antique bottles and relics right here in our backyard. This house was built in the early 1900s. We think this was a privy hole, which is where the outhouse used to be. Uh, you've seen the other videos where we've pulled out old bottles and cool little knickknacks. So we're gonna try to find some more. We're gonna move this dirt here today and we're gonna continue uh, working that way down on the bottom layer there. If you guys like what you see, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video and leave us a comment. From one of our previous videos, we had a friend suggest that we use a sifting screen before we move any of our dirt. So we actually made this homemade sifting screen from some supplies at Home Depot. We got this gate here to a chain link fence. Um, it's gonna be pretty sturdy on top of the wheelbarrow and easy to grab for the sifting. We added this 7 8 inch black netting on top of it and just zip tied it in place. That's gonna catch any uh, smaller objects like coins or any small pieces of glass. And we got a new wheelbarrow at the same time so we could uh, get everything the perfect size. And it was pretty affordable and easy to make and we're gonna sift all of our dirt before we move it. Test out the homemade sifter. Oh, looks like it's already working. <laughs> I'm gonna be testing it on my own because you don't always have a partner while you're treasure hunting. So I'm just gonna get a good amount of dirt on there and spread it out a little bit. So it's stopping some of these bigger chunks from going down. There, see we already got some trash out of it. Caught this nail, put all the trash in that bucket. Here's some more, piece of glass it caught. Okay, we'll add some more dirt. Any rocks that are too big to go through, this one's small, but we're gonna put in this other wheelbarrow and we're gonna pile them up so that we can put all the rocks on the bottom when we're filling the hole back in. And then all of the nice dirt on top of it. So keep sifting. As you guys can see, this is working really well actually. It's catching a lot of the big wire and pieces of nail, bigger chunks of iron. Uh, we pulled out all the rocks and whatnot. We have some dirt clods that get stuck on top, but we can just easily uh, dump those into the wheelbarrow before we move it. But yeah, this is working really well. I don't even have to shake it that much. Just me running my hand over it seems to be catching anything we want it to. ended up working out really well. Here's the fine dirt that fell through it. Uh, there was a few smaller pieces of trash that fell through, but we were able to just pick them out. Um, just in one wheelbarrow full, this is all of the metal and glass we pulled out. And then we have the wheelbarrow full of rocks over here. This was really cheap to make and it's super efficient and it worked really well.
been using the homemade sifting screen for about two hours now. And as you guys can see, we pulled a ton of stuff out, small pieces of glass and iron, and we even got that little bone. So the homemade sifting screen is working very well. While sifting through the dirt, we also found these, this little clip and this iron or steel spoon. Pretty cool. We might not have found these if we weren't sifting through the dirt like we did. Okay, we've made it to the good stuff. We dug out this wall a bit and as you guys can see, there's a layer right here with a bunch of iron and glass in it. So this is where I'm gonna start working. There you go. So as you can see, there's a lot of iron in there. I'm gonna get the hand shovel and start digging here. This layer below it is a softer sand. So this is what I'm gonna start to remove. So I'm below anything that could be breakable. That way I can just pull it out and not break it. We got our first potential something it's right here. It looks kind of round. I'm not sure what it is. Let's dig it out. I'm dig under it a little bit. Hopefully it'll just fall right out. Oh, popped out. In my hand. It's a thimble, I think. Yeah. A little thimble, that's cool. I wiped it off a little bit. It's definitely a thimble. You can see the inside there. It's in pretty good condition. I just pulled this can out of here and it had this other little can inside. It's pretty cool when you pull out full cans. Uh, this little hole has a ton of stuff in it. Every time I rub my hand up on the top, stuff comes out. So I just wanted to make sure to record. It's pretty deep pool, as you guys can see. Oop, something else just fell out. Cool. Tobacco I think it's can. another, yeah, tobacco can. Flattened out. Got some big chunks of glass in there. There's the top of the can. Huge nails. Every time I rub my hand up here, I get some more stuff to drop out. Oh, not a rock. <laughs> Ooh, big chunk of glass right there. We've been digging out the side wall some more and we found this. It looks like the topper to a glass bottle. It is broken. I don't think we broke it. We found it like this. But hopefully the bottle's not too far behind. Okay, we've been digging for like four hours now and we actually have something that looks like could be a bottle right there. I'm pointing to it. I'm going to carefully try to get it out. Hopefully it's not broken. It's a pretty good chunk of glass. Oh, uh, now that I see the edge of it. Yeah. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Just a big chunk of glass. It looks like a piece of a plate. While we've been raking out the dirt, we found this cool little piece of metal. It's got an interesting design. And then we found a marble. Uh, we found quite a few marbles in this hole. We got a nice little collection going. They're always neat to find. All right, it's kind of dark in here. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm pointing to uh, what could be the bottom of a bottle right there. I'm gonna dig it out. 
Oh, it's just a broken piece of glass. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, we've been out here five hours now. We found a lot of broken pieces of bottles, but not a full one yet. This one looks really promising though. I'm pointing right to it. This is the bottom of it. I'm gonna dig it out. If this is a full bottle, I will be so happy. This part is in good condition. I dig up here a little. I'm just gonna use my hand all around it, even if it takes some time because I don't wanna damage it. I'm so hopeful right now. There's a lot of the iron chunks all around it. Pretty big one. Okay. It doesn't look broken yet. bunch of chunks of iron right here next to it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna come out. I've dug enough under it. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> I can see it. It's broken. But it's still caught in there a little bit. says something on the bottom. I think it says, oh, it says loss. I can make out the beginning of Angeles. Coca-Cola. Oh. That would have been amazing. I'm so bummed. Ugh. Okay, right next to that broken coca-cola bottle we pulled out we found this it's nearly a full bottle but it is broken that's cool though just a tiny one Oops. okay about okay. we're a little over five hours in we've been digging for a while digging back in this wall right here I don't know if you guys can see this over here we have a bottle right here. There it is. It's gonna come right out. Oh my gosh. This is a good one. It's intact. It doesn't look broken anywhere. If you guys check it out, it actually has a really cool design on it. I'm gonna rinse it with a little bit of water. I'm not gonna rub it too much with my hands but it looks really cool.
Okay, we've dug pretty far back into this side wall here, all the way around. Um, we're losing daylight, it's getting pretty dark, had to pull the flashlight out, so we're probably gonna call it. We are still pulling bits of iron and broken pieces of glass out here, so we'll continue digging in this area on another day. We still have a lot of digging to do, but we made some really good progress today. We actually got a little wild and we took out our wheelbarrow ramp, but as we continue digging that way, we'll fix it. Overall, we made good progress today. This is all the trash we found. Uh, we nearly filled the bucket up. This bucket's got to weigh like, probably 40 pounds at least. You guys probably think I'm exaggerating, but there's a ton of broken glass in there and big iron objects. This is the good stuff we found. We found a few full cans, a shotgun shell. We got this as a, some kind of gardening tool. I think it, it's called a spade. Um, we also found a thimble. That's my favorite find of the day. Some neat little metal objects, some more overall clips, the spoon, a really cool marble. And then our best finds are our bottles. I'm super bummed about this Los Angeles Coca-Cola bottle. Never seen one like that. That would have been a great one to add to the collection, but it is broken. This one we'll keep on our shelf. It's in okay condition. It is a little bit cracked throughout the middle. And then this bottle came out whole. It's a brown glass and has this really neat design on it. This bottle has a really cool design, like I said. I've never seen one like this. Uh, if you guys know how we could research it, let us know in the comment section. This is definitely one of the best bottles we found though. Really cool find. We had a great day of treasure hunting. We found some really cool antique bottles and relics. We really appreciate when you like and comment on the videos, but if you wanna go the extra mile, please subscribe to our page and we'll see you next time.